Hey there, folks. You're probably wondering, what is this? And we want to formally welcome you to TMG Classics. Listen, the show has been around now for over six years, and that's that's 300 plus episodes that we've done of this show. Yep. We are officially your generation's friends. <laughs> Damn, that's a lofty claim. Well, in the sense that we have reruns. I'm Joey. Dibs Joey. I'm uh, Dibs Joey. I'm Lisa Kudrow. Okay. The the Phoebe. The actress? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm uh, yeah, I'm just Lisa. <laughs> okay. I'm her okay. being Phoebe. Okay. Dibs Gunther. Oh. Um, that's a deep cut. Yeah. <laughs> is it? No, not really. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Sorry. Um or maybe, you know, we're your generation's ridiculousness. Regardless, we're gonna be showcasing the best older episodes every two weeks for the next three months. That's right. The episodes release on Saturdays, so every second Saturday, keep your eyes peeled for a new TMG Classics episode. Season one will include episodes from the first 100 episodes. That includes some of the best moments, such as squatting 680. Uh, pumps of views. Pumps of views. I don't even remember Jim Tickles. Jim Tickles. That's Jim when the guy oh. came and the trainer came and tickled me. Oh, remember the, damn it. The bodybuilder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. And, and last but not least, Mom's Sweet Hams. Remember Mom's that? Sweet Ham. No. Neither. Because <laughs> it's up there, though. Yeah. <laughs> there's going to be all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah. And if there's a specific TMG Classics episode that you want to see, just comment what it is, and we'll read the comment and then ignore it. <laughs> yeah. And then choose something I'm kidding, totally I'm kidding. different. I'm kidding. We'll, we probably will choose those ones. Yeah. So leave a comment if there's something in particular you, you want to see. And anyways. Enjoy this enjoy. classic episode. All right, welcome back. I want to start today's episode by, um, uh, I guess, doing a little segment called Weird Japanese TV. <laughs> All right? <laughs> now, you know these dudes got weird TV. Yeah. Some of the Japanese TV is fucking insane. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And my buddy sent me, <laughs> we were like in the cab the other day, and he was like, he was like, have you heard about this? I don't even know why he asked yeah. if I had heard of it because it's some obscure... <laughs> It's like not a well-known thing at all. Yeah. Okay. It's this TV show um, called Nasubi. <laughs> or sorry, that's his name. Okay, here. I'm just going to read this Wikipedia entry, okay? Okay. Um, Tomoki Ma- Hamatsu, sorry if I butchered that, better known as Nasubi, is a Japanese comedian. Okay, so this is this is what happened. He was put in a reality TV show, mm-hmm. all right? Um. Nasubi was challenged to stay alone, unclothed, in an apartment for Sun- Susanu Denpa Shonen, a Japanese reality television show on Nippon Television, after winning a lottery for a show business related job. He was challenged to an, en- he was challenged to enter mail and sweepstakes until he won um one million yen, Japanese dollar. <laughs> yeah. Um about uh, which is the the equivalent to ten thousand US dollars. He started with nothing, including no clothes was cut off from outside communication and broadcasting and had nothing to keep him company except the magazines he combed through for sweepstakes entry forms. After spending 335 days to reach his target, oh. he set the Guinness World Record for the longest time survived on c- competition winnings. Oh my God. Nasubi lived in front of the camera with only the possessions he won via the sweepstakes and the stacks of postcards for entering the sweepstakes. Due to his nudity, an eggplant cartoon graphic covered his genitals when Nasubi was standing standing on camera. Nasubi is a Japanese word for eggplant. The nickname was chosen due to his 30 centimeter long face shaped like a Japanese eggplant. <laughs> Nasubi thought he was being recorded and the show would be broadcast later, but in actuality, he was on a live stream video with the highlights rebroadcast each week, complete with cartoon sound effects, making fun of everything he did. Oh my Especially God. his sadness and frustration. <gasps> at first, he received no food at all, drinking only water and losing weight. Eventually, he won some sugary drinks from his sweepstakes entries, then a bag of rice, and eventually survived for weeks on dog food. No, what? He never won clothing he could wear. He was naked for almost an entire fucking year. He carried on conversations with stuffed animals he adopted as his sensei. Upon reaching his goal, he was clothed. It gets more fucked up than this. This is like... This is real. This is sad as shit. Yeah, I know. Upon reaching his goal, he was clo- he was clothed and blindfolded and taken to a surprise location. Nasubi happily went along, believing he was going to get a special prize for his year of hard work. After they unblindfolded him, he found himself in South Korea, where he was shown around town and taken to another apartment. 
He was once again asked to take off his clothes and challenged to enter sweepstakes, this time to win enough money to get back home. No way. What? When he had won enough to return to Japan, he was blindfolded, clothed, and taken to another apartment in Japan. When he was unblindfolded, he looked around, sighed, and took all, took all of his clothes off, at which point the walls of the apartment fell away to reveal that he was in a TV studio with a huge live audience. He couldn't understand it because he thought the show had not yet been broadcast. What the entire the ordeal fuck? lasted some 15 months, during which time his diaries on his experience of being locked away from the outside world became a bestseller in Japan. And the TV show broke all records with 17 million viewers each Sunday night. Dude. What the fuck? He had, like, difficulty carrying on conversation for the first six months outside of the show. Uh, did he, like, sue the shit out of them? Like, I, I feel- know. he's He said he's grateful for the... The Subi reports that he is grateful for his experience and that the producer apologized to him. <laughs> the producer, Toshio Tachuya, says he has no regrets and did not apologize that this... That his goal is to produce miracles on film, and with Nisubi, that is what happened. Wow. Wow. It reminds me of The Room. You ever seen that movie? Yeah. Uh, yeah, The Room, it's called. Yeah. The one where the guy just, like, wakes up, and he's yeah. just, like, he's, like, trapped in a hotel room. Bro, that's, um, that's fucked up. <laughs> and, like, made me really sad reading that shit. Yeah. Well, but at the same time, I was like, wow, this is the this is the most Japanese shit of all time. Yeah, super. 17 million people watch this dude just get tortured every Sunday night? Dog, I'm going to go look this up now. Yeah. Well, you're going to watch, you're gonna yeah, watch I'm, it? I'm definitely going to watch some Nasubi. That's crazy. Fucking <laughs> no, we're eggplant, actually, man. This is going to be, this is actually going to be, become the uh, Nasubi like, highlights <laughs> podcast. We're going to just watch each, each episode and review it. The American version would be like, all right, we're going to take one person and like, we're going to take a vegan and put them in a maze. Or no, just like they're going to put them in the center of like a cheeseburger field, mm. like walls made of cheeseburgers. Yeah, 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 And if they eat through to the right one, <laughs> they win a million dollars. And they'll just challenge the morals. Right? Actually, no, Except not... nobody would watch that. Yeah, that's they're true. like, I can't believe they're subjecting this vegan yeah. <laughs> yeah. to eating meat. <laughs> I was actually, dog, I was thinking about The Bachelor again, and I was laughing at like, first of all, having an opinion. My... Me even having an opinion about The Bachelor is the lamest shit ever. Yeah. But I was thinking like... Good evening. It's Chris from The Bachelor and it's going the hell it's off, going ladies the hell and gentlemen. Off. I was thinking like the reactions people have to like these women like losing on this show is like they went to war or something. Like they're like, oh, it's so horrible. It's just a suffer through that. It's like she was on fucking TV. Yeah, yeah. And there's like a million followers on Instagram. She yeah, lost no. nothing. Yeah, no, she's fine. Yeah. She's fine. <laughs> She'll be doing tea ads for the rest of her life. And she's <laughs> chilling now. She also voluntarily yeah. went on this show. Yeah, none of them should get sympathy. No, not at all. Not an ounce of it. Mm. Um, just to bring things on a lighter note, it's your... Boy, Mark Ween's here <laughs> eating some delicious pussy this morning. <laughs> I was th- <laughs> oh, dude. I kept thinking oh, about Oh, my God. Imagine him doing like a pussy <laughs> review. Yeah. Oh, no. That's a, dude. Oh, that's an awful thought. Oh. I, just, I just kept imagining mm. it. <laughs> mm. Tastes like copper. <laughs> um, there's lots of juice. It's almost like a roast beef down here. <laughs> Um, I've never experienced anything with quite this type of flavor, <laughs> but I think with a little, just some herbs on here, it'd be really delicious. Now you can see, I'm going to put my fingers right in here and I'm going to, to spread it. You can see, I'm going to see inside here how juicy it really is. Oh my God. You can see the mo- you can, you can almost see the, the camera's fogging up from all the moisture. Oh. Uh, oh god yeah I just kept thinking about food reviewers doing that <laughs> this other dude uh, <laughs> he's Canadian I'm eating out guy. this beautiful oh, pussy, pussy. <laughs> check it out everybody it's Michael Foodie here and I'm having some delicious pussy this <laughs> afternoon <laughs> oh, my wife <laughs> deliver. oh here we go let it my wife delivers the best pussy oh god <laughs> <laughs> holy fuck Okay, yeah, that's um. Fuck it, it's Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. It's, we're recording on a Sunday for the first time, I think yeah, ever. Yeah, we're because um, I'm going to uh, Palm Palm Springs. Yeah, the Des. The Des, yeah. They call it, yeah. Palm Des. Hey, how you doing? It's your guy Louie here, and I'm just gonna <laughs> have me a nice, delicious plate of boy pussy. <laughs> because this oh. is the fucking gay guy food Oops. review channel. <laughs> <laughs> 
only eat hot dogs on this channel. <laughs> hot dogs only. Hot dogs, you one know, after another you know in my why? mouth. Because they look like dicks and I'm gay. I'm the gayest guy that it, that there is. I am as gay as that shit comes, man. Holy fuck. Oh, what do you got? Couple good, good, good set of balls on you. <laughs> nice. I want to. <laughs> I want to play with them. <laughs> so Dude, I was Springs. watching that shit back, yeah. man. <laughs> Action! I like dudes a lot. I lost my fucking shit when I was watching that back. Holy hell! <laughs> oh man, I'm glad I can deliver that top quality entertainment. God damn, that shit was funny. I was telling people about that this weekend. They're all laughing. I'm fucking. I had them all doing that shit. I'm fucking gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like dudes a lot. <laughs> Eat hot dogs. Holy shit! Yeah, so Palm Dez, the Desi, heading out there just to just to kick it for a week. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're recording this one a little bit early. So. And we talked all this shit about Phoenix, and then you're going right back to a desert. I know. <laughs> I know. But this is a good desert, yeah, though. It's, yeah. <laughs> Palm Desert is great. There, There is such a thing as a good desert and a bad desert. Yeah. 100%. Oh, that's tight, dude. I'm pumped. I'm, I'm going to be uh, doing some pre-prod for our um, music video. Are you? Yeah. Are we going to shoot it? I think so. I think we might shoot a music video this week, guys. Yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm pumped as shit. I'm, uh, I'm Did we book that place? Not, not yet. I'm okay. gonna figure out all the logistics. All right, all right cool. Because some, some sometimes those places are like, yeah, only twenty five bucks an hour, and you hit them up. They're like, so there's an eight hundred dollar film permit that you're gonna have to get. Like some people are just yeah. really stale about it, and you're like, that's just annoying. Let, just let me. It's a fucking desert. Yeah, yeah. Just let me go out just there. Me, just do it. Yeah. So we'll see. It's tight though. I'm gonna. Um, well, by this point, posters will have been shipped. Yes. Did you get rid? Did you handle all the shit? Yeah. Okay. It's good. Handled. Handled. Good. I was in a in a CSV file manually putting people's names together. Was that annoying as fuck? Yeah. You can't mass merge cells. You oh gotta. It's just <laughs> just more details on details. That's fucking crazy. And stamps. dot com is a very specific way they want that data put in there. That's like that was a time though. Of oh, goddamn, I was doing that, and I'm like, I totally feel like a back end dude. I'm like. There should just be a SQL table for all this. This is just, <laughs> I need to be able to query by information, and I just can't. This is, this is so frustrating. <laughs> That's when we go, I should build. I should build a solution <laughs> yeah. to this and sell it. <laughs> That's what I'll do. And sell it. And license it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I What the fuck was I just, oh, yeah, we hit 15K on Patreon yesterday oh, yeah. for a brief period of time. Yep. Um, before before all you motherfuckers unsubscribe. Yeah, we know. You know, you <laughs> unsub the and month. then you resub. It's okay. Um, you know how it goes. But that means we got to make a song now. We do have to make a song about now. you about Patreon about Patreon <laughs> about y'all. So I'm pumped for that. I'm already I'm already cooking up beats. Yeah. Right, so yeah, I got some shit. You know, this, this is gonna and then we're gonna have like the one person who really likes it a lot. Shout out to our homegirl at uh, the Anaheim show mm -hmm. who just blurted out books i love that song oh yeah, yeah. hell yeah uh, charlie chaplin is what we called her mm -hmm. and she's a she's a patreoner mm -hmm. so shout out um yeah so does it doesn't have to be about patreon i mean couldn't it just be like what if they what if the what if they give us ideas and then we like write based on that idea okay yeah i like that too yeah yeah so drop a song idea in the community section yeah and, and we'll do it we'll write a song we're about gonna it write it write write it up <laughs> By the way, actually, I got a I got another brand deal. Mm. <laughs> I want to do another song. Yeah, so you might have to help me with that. Sure. I want to. I want to. Um, it's like for a watch company. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It's pretty fucking sellouty. But like, I think what I want to do. It's like you know, for one of those like mid tier watch companies, like yeah. movement and shit like that. Yeah. Um. Uh. And I want. I think what I want to do is just like every time I sell out, I want to like make a make a song about it. Yeah. So okay. that eventually becomes that's like the that's like a theme on my you channel. Can is release like, an album of brand like deals, sponsored songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> album of brand, brand deal deals. mixtape. Yeah. That would be fucking hilarious. It would be. That would be crazy. It would be Square <laughs> Squarespace and whoever uh, sponsor us for that. Yeah. Brand deal. Fuck like Wendy's did. Yeah. Dude, that shit is corny yeah it's not good i didn't listen to it but i'm like god damn it dude uh, fucking twitter brand twitter accounts are the worst they've ever been i yeah. wish they would just go back yeah to being like hey uh new burger yeah you yeah. know wow uh, ba uh bacon double uh, new baconator <sighs> i hate today at wendy's instead of like 
just trying to be like a millennial. It's we, just we, so fucking annoying. Everything is like this weird inverted thing now where people want to be brands and brands want to be people. So true. It's Holy so shit. It's fucking stupid. Wow. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah. It, it's it's such a weird thing. It's such a weird thing. It's like, don't have a personality. You're a burger yeah. company. Yeah. Just, let's just... And, and like, I want to know when your new shit's coming out. Yeah. And <laughs> giving a voice to Wendy was like so weird. I know. I'm just like... I, I know. Can't. Like, it's a girl, right? Yeah. The fem- yeah, yeah. It's a female rapper. Yeah. I, I, I just couldn't... Yeah. Also... We beefing? Because everything is like a pun yeah. on burgers. I'm yeah. like, oh my God, man. Everything... Well, I, list, I was skimming through it, and the bars were like... The first four were always okay, and then they got hyper corny. Start rapping about like fries and burgers and beef and mm-hmm. whatever. But the thing that was real off putting to me were and like hot dogs. Yeah, hot dogs. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> all the beats were like they were just like like fucking just <clears throat> on YouTube. You search like dope 2018 Drake Offset type beat. Okay. Like that's what all the beats were. And okay. I'm like, this shit sounds so basic. Mm-hmm. Pod, anyway. Podcast type beat, yeah. Podcast type beat. That's what this is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> start tagging our shit. Podcast type, type beat. beat. <laughs> Every YouTube episode. Yeah. Tiny Meat Gang podcast type beat. W- we would just make shit up. What? Like just throw a bunch of shit in there. Yeah. Like Drake ASMR podcast type <laughs> beat. <laughs> You're like what? <laughs> what is this? Um. <clears throat> Speaking of companies, big companies, I saw oh, we could we get into two. I'm gay type beat. I'm gay type beat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking gay type beat. <laughs> <laughs> I like dudes a lot. I like dudes a lot. <laughs> Boobs gross type beat. Uh, give me that boy pussy type beat. <laughs> I can't take credit for that. You know, it's an actual song. What? It's like some boy pussy. What? It's old as hell. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, actually, shout out to, um, I was listening to Kill Whitey's album. Yeah. He's that dude that does that song. Yeah. The, I'm, I'm, bitch, I'm fucking out. gay. Yeah, I'm fucking gay. Yeah. Um, he came out with an album, and one of the songs is called Snitch, <laughs> just about how he's going to tell on you <laughs> so and he's funny. like friends with the cops and stuff like that it's really fucking funny i'll go check that it's out. really funny that sounds funny as yeah shit. yeah um sorry what were you saying no i watched the documentary on herbalife mm-hmm. <laughs> i mean i'm not about to get all righteous and shit there's actually just speaking of the hey i like dudes mm-hmm. voice i'm coming to a point with this but um so Herbalife, <clears throat> the thing of the documentary was like they just prey on like immigrants and shit. Mm-hmm. It's kind of fucked up. Mm-hmm. They do like there's this woman who was just trying to like bring out the truth that like some people like didn't make money. And Herbalife like sent her like a basically like, a letter like we're going to sue the fuck out of you. And and, and it's, it's, that's kind of like the arc of the documentary. Like and, and so the documentary I'm fucking all over the place here. Basically, the documentary follows a woman who is in like lives in LA? Mm. She got a small group of Latino people, and she's trying to like you know get them some type of I don't know uh, payback for like the shit that happened to them. <clears throat> and then she's also trying to like spread awareness, like yo, Herbalife is just fucking up the community. There's this other rich dude named Bill Ackman, who's like a m- multi-billionaire hedge fund guy, and like s- like uh, initially. Uh, he made like a lot of money betting against like a mortgage company and he wanted to do the same thing with Herbalife. So he like went on this campaign where he was like anti Herbalife mm. and trying to like basically smash their stock price. And then he they're like a public company. Yeah. They're a publicly traded company. That's it's crazy. insane. Yeah. And it's just a bir- big pyramid scheme. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And, and so um, in the documentary, they do the math. They're like, bro, at a point Herbalife would have to recruit two times the world's population to like, continue so inevitably the company is going to crater Mm. and like really hard (laughs) yeah really yeah and like the mechanism for making money i mean it's the same old shit they're like oh you need x amount of dollars to receive commission Mm. from the company so you give you give whoever brought you in three grand Mm. and then you get three grand worth of product that's overpriced as shit and no one's gonna want to buy it and so you're like all right I'm, i'm just gonna fuck somebody else get my money back and then i'm i'm out that's what that's what everyone tries to do so they kind of go through like the different products and ways they fuck people over, or whatever. It doesn't matter. This dude, Bill Ackman, would give like these long presentations on Wall Street about how shitty the company was. <laughs> and I was dying laughing at his second presentation because 
<laughs> There's some random guy. This guy could have a shitload of money, but it just didn't seem like it. So he's like sitting in the, this is like a Q&A. And he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an I'm gay coming here? Is yeah, that... Pretty much. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm fucking gay, all right? That's <laughs> first, first of all, I'm first gay. Of, first of all, I'm okay. gay. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> no, the so the dude, Bill Ackman, in trying to like shit on Herbalife, mm -hmm. he triggered like this other multi-billion dollar investor who like doesn't like him. And he counter buys into Herbalife, buys a shitload of stock in Herbalife. He sends it up like 30%. And he's like, oh, f you know, I really don't like Bill Ackman and fuck him and da 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 da. So a lot of people respect his investment opinions. So this dude, fucking idiot in the audience, is like, okay, I, I don't get it, all right? How are you? Every guy on Wall Street is into urban life. What do you know that they don't know? Because I, I think you look like a big dummy or like just some shit like that. And I'm like, you sound so stupid. Oh, my God. Like if God. you cannot see that it's just two rich people fighting to prove a point and you're just like in the middle of it, like, yeah, I'm, I'm with, I'm gay and I'm with Carl Icahn. <laughs> <laughs> just the, Why was he even there? What it was? It was, what like was a, it? it was like a public speech that the dude Bill. Oh, Ackman and he was, was like giving. a stockbroker or something. He probably, probably like, yeah, probably trades his fucking you know one-time lottery winnings yeah, yeah, on yeah. the stock market. Yeah, one ten grand back in '82. Yeah, can't stop talking yeah. about it. You know, and I took that money and uh. Put in the stock market. And yeah, I've just been. I'm very long Herbalife. <laughs> very, very long. It's got a good, good. It's like, what is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Some, <laughs> some shit. Some shit that you drink. I don't know. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> I should have cut out a clip of this dude because he just sound like. It's not that he didn't sound intelligent. What, what do you know that we don't know? Yeah. <laughs> dude, go home, man. Why are you even here? <laughs> It just sounds like go like just like go do some research on it, man. He just sounded stupid because the dude Bill Ackman just laid out like a three hundred page, like literally three hundred slide presentation, <laughs> and he goes, so, "You got this fancy presentation." And <laughs> it's like, did you listen to fucking? You make this in PowerPoint. <laughs> He was on his phone the whole time, <laughs> and he pops up at the end. And what do you know that we don't know? He wants him to read all these fancy stats and graphs, <laughs> and and numbers and numbers and, shit. and research. <laughs> and he's like, "What do you know that we don't know?" He's like, I just told you. I <laughs> three for like an hour, three hundred slides, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, but you know what? 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 Did, I didn't get anything from it. <laughs> my whole, my whole, my kid's whole college tuition button. I just spat all over you, by the way. Sorry about that. Is in Herba Life. I'm very long Herba Life. Herba. <laughs> Dog. That. Who, man. You know, I also see a lot of uh, Herba Life dudes at my gym. Like, they got, like, the Herba Life t-shirts. And, like, in my lurking on my gym's feed, like, I see some of them are, like, they're, like, that's the whole reason they train. Uh, it's, like, they train people, and I think they try to put them on Herba Life. Through train. Oh my god! It's so sick. It's what, okay, what is it? Is it weed? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it should be. Is it like with that like name seasoning and seasoning for right. your food or what? What is it? Dog. It's Herbalife. like it's like uh, it's one of these like you know healthy life, healthy whatever. Yeah, right, right. And, okay, and you buy like fifty dollars shakes that are supposed to replace a meal. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Yeah. Dude, speaking of documentaries though, <laughs> Wild Wild Country. Oh yeah, that baby. shit is insane. Oh, what episode are you on? Uh, we just finished two. Okay. So watch this shit. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Wild Wild Country. It's um about the Rajneeshi. Rajneeshi. Well, the, his name was the Bogwan. Bogwan, yeah. Bogwan. Something. What was the cult called? Um, Rajneesh. I think this wasn't really a cult technically. It was like, well, I'm still like getting into that, but it's basically about this community that was built in yep. Oregon in the 90s, out of nowhere, basically like super rich Indian. Um, he's he's, he's kind of a, it's like a speaker, right? No, he's like, so he's kind of, man, all right. So there's, this is kind of like the foundation, I think, for a lot of like Eastern philosophy or not a lot of it, but like it's a common thing where there's like a guy who is like a Swami or something and he usually was the disciple of mm -hmm. another Swami. And it's like a lineage of like spiritual practitioners who usually they offer like some type of unique form of yoga or like their yeah. kind of their cell is like, I can help you connect to God mm -hmm. or I can help you become 
the better person or whatever. So he kind of was like following that model where he has like these spiritual ideas on like how to live, but I don't think he ever expressly was like, I am a Swami. Mm -hmm. Like he just kind of like, per, like had ideas about the way people should be. And then other people gravitated towards that. And, and he had that like method of meditation. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is the craziest shit ever. Yeah. Seeing footage of that. Yeah. Was unbelievable. Oh, I mean, in the second episode, they have yeah. like this, it looks like <laughs> I don't even know how you could describe it a scream orgy yeah 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 like people oh, are oh yeah that therapy session yeah yeah it's like this form of meditation where well okay basically it ends up being like a giant cult yeah. and they end up this guy has so much money from like speaking and whatever he would like sell out stadiums in India yeah people love them so much and he built this like commune in India and people started like living there and mm -hmm. westerners started following him because yeah. it was like a weird time in America yeah. smart people for some reason started yeah. getting into his methods and stuff. Yeah. They would move to India just to be around this guy. And then eventually he was like, all right, if we want to grow this thing bigger, we have to move to the States because of, yep. um, you know. Well, because in India wouldn't let him, like they, uh, I forgot what city it was exactly, but they they felt that um, his following was like dangerous. So yeah. they wouldn't grant him the ability to start a commune. So, <clears throat> right, right. So they let him do it in the States. And but, so, and it essentially just becomes a big ass cult. And yeah. they like practice this, yeah, like form of meditation where it's like five different steps, and the first one you get you have to get you have to be completely naked. Yeah, this is another thing about the call is like it's like sex. It's very yeah. like fluid. Everything's like yeah. fluid. You know, yeah. there's no like there's no like definitions to like relationships <laughs> and stuff like that. We're like we're just all you know we're doing exactly we're doing whatever we want, whatever our body tells Bruh, us. Everyone there is fucking chlamydia and <laughs> giant bushes of pubic hair. Yeah. We're like. We're like, even if you wanted to have sex back then, it's impossible. You can't get through the hair. <laughs> Dog. It's just sifting, taking a fucking that must have been pair of next. shears to, <laughs> to, 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 the, to your bush before you... <laughs> that must have been the nastiest sex, dude. That must so, have been so gross. Yeah, so the first step to this meditation, you got to get completely naked. The second step is you have to scream at yeah. each other. Like, super angrily, uh -huh. like intense fucking yell, mm -hmm. like like run into each other. Not hitting each other, but like, oh, yeah, then like sort the, of getting a little bit violent. Bro, what, what are you talking about? Sort of. There's like that fake rape going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I But it's like, it's yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I, like I'm a, assuming there's like some type of boundary, but it's like. This dude like. Flips, they're, all, they're all naked. Yeah, this girl like, or this dude like flips a girl over. She, like they both have their pants on, but he just starts like violently like humping her. And I'm like, dog, that's, that's not. Like, um. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but now I'll leave okay. it alone. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then you go complete. The third step is you like go completely silent, and everyone like sits there, and then you like basically like, achieve this like level of tranquility. Yeah, because of all like yeah. I don't know, like the the mean ups stuff and is downs out of you. and yeah. emotions. I don't know, fucking. And then, and then but like seeing footage of this was weird. It was like I don't. It was like honestly watching like a like a it's kind of like watching XXX like one of my yeah one concert of, or one of my Snapchats. It. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's like every every Tuesday night for me. <laughs> I want to take that. Bye, right, boys. Get in here. <laughs> get in here. Get in here. Get get those pants off, dude. I, I wanna, got a bunch of hot dogs. I want to. I want to cut out parts of that scene and then just put like the and just put it on my Snapchat with like <laughs> a, like the bar over like lol is getting lit and just have people be like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck is going on in your house? <laughs> Why does it look so old? Oh, dude, it's this app. It's sick. You can make footage look yeah, really old. Yeah, it's like Huji or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's Huji for video. Yeah. It's like, yo, is someone getting fucking... Yo, dude, you got mad pubic hair, dude. <laughs> you got an insane bush. Also, is someone Thank getting... you, man. I appreciate that. Is someone getting uh, raped back there? <laughs> nah, bro. This is, how, just, this is just how we kick it. It's, yeah. <laughs> now we're chilling. We chilling, man. It's lit. It's litty right now. In the stew. In the stew. Oh, Studio yeah. vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> people screaming and fucking. Dog. Yo, dude, I got to say, don't know what's happening over there. <laughs> you got a sick bush. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. I've been working on this thing. <laughs> There's so much hair, man, on the people's heads. It, Everyone has beards. It's crazy. Women have beards. It's crazy how there are people in there that are like smart and just. You know, it's actually fucking fascinating. That's why I started talking about this because you guys got to watch this documentary mm -hmm. because like they basically built this city from the ground up from yeah. scratch and like they have a whole bunch of really smart people that are like invested in this cult. So like oh, architects, 
and like there's a videographer filming the whole thing yep. because I'm sure that was his job. Yep. And so there's incredible footage of the entire thing. Yep. It's really fucking like eerie. Yep. It's 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 insane what they do. It's like feels like they're hypnotized. Yep. It's really weird. There's another documentary on like a m- small cult I watched like way back and it's this dude who basically looks like uh <laughs> I don't fucking uh Rick Rubin or Rick okay. Rubin. like he looks like that dude. It's not him. And it started as like he owned um a restaurant in like Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And then he like kind of started a small cult out of that and uh like he moved them all to a house and like they were all living in there and he would like create certain types of sciences. It's just like all the same bullshit. But the way he fucking died was he told everyone he could fly and he went on a hang glider off a cliff and then like it just disconnected or something and it just crashed and died in the water. And so just the whole cult is standing there like, well, what the fuck do we <laughs> Is he just killed himself? Yeah. Like, oh, man. Everyone sold their shit to live there. I was really hoping he could fly. <laughs> <Yeah>. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. God, why did we... This guy's an idiot. <laughs> that moment. Yeah, yeah. Where you just watch that full suicide, you're like, wow, I really sold my house for this. <laughs> I sold my house. I really thought that dude was going to fly. That's... What am I... <laughs> what, what is wrong what with me? My, Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh God. God damn it. God, does anyone have a, of course no one has a phone here. We don't believe in phones. I forgot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got to call my ex-wife. I where, left her for this where shit. Where even are we? Where are we where right now? Are, Santa Barbara? <laughs> Why? What? We're not even, we didn't even leave civilization. <laughs> what are we doing here? I just watched the guy kill himself on the beach. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, Bill. Fucking stupid, stupid, <laughs> stupid. Why? God, Why, man? One guy came out of that cult. He started like a fucking multi-million-dollar software company. No way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, Rich as shit. So weird, man. Other people just poor as fuck, still believing in it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That shit's nuts, dude. Yeah. That is shit. That shit is absolutely nuts. So with that said, we want to introduce you all to. Um, a little set of teachings we like to call meat expansion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going to teach you how to yeah, evolve. We're very your, excited about this. Your meat. Yep. And we think this is going to um, become one with your meat. Mm-hmm. Really expand your life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bring you closer to the pork chop. Yeah. <laughs> um, we need to start a cult, man. That's like, that's like the fucking. That's, That's the, because I was thinking I was like I was like, dude, this guy, the leader, Bhagwan, yeah, he must have smashed. Oh yeah, yeah. The you know boy, what I mean? The boy was crushing. Yeah. He oh was. yeah. He must have because he that was his whole thing. Like, oh, free love. Yeah. Let's just fuck each other. <laughs> and he would drive around in his Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah. People would just line up. Yeah. Like that was one of the things that the uh, the you know they like moved into this town or they moved like beside this town in yeah. Oregon and all the townsfolk there are like you know these old. Oregon folks have been living there for their whole life, small yep. town folks. Yep. And they're like, they're doing interviews with these people and they're like, we would just watch the people from the cult just stand there for hours <laughs> waiting for this guy to drive by. Yeah. How is that healthy? Like, yeah, it's not. It's w- weird as fuck. <laughs> and they all not. wore the same color, like yep. purple or whatever. Yep. So they're just standing on the road, like smiling, oh. like happy, just waiting for Bhagwan to drive by in his Wait Rolls Royce. Like you- a, like a fucking baller. Wait till you learn about his assistant. Yeah, Sheila. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Really? Ooh. That's the chick, right? Yeah. That they're doing interviews with. That's a bad bitch. Really? Dog. <laughs> really? <laughs> Damn. I'm pumped. Yeah. Go check that out. Yo. Yeah. Go shot, check it out. Shows like shot really well too. Yo, it's shot amazing. Yeah. It's crazy. I got all that footage. Mm-hmm. Um, Dude, I'm, what up? I was having pink eye. Oh, fucking, yeah, let's talk about it. No, I got pink eye in both eyes. Both eyes, dog. It was, I think I got it from the gym. I was like, mm. I was spotting this dude. You can't let, yeah, you can't let and, dudes fart. Yeah, I mean, I thought you just lay down when someone squats. Like, I thought, you know, you you know, you know, get ready, okay, a- ass to nose, yeah, ass yeah. to nose. Yeah, yeah, well, you can do it like that. Make sure the eyes get into his ass cheeks every yeah. time he goes down. Yeah. 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 Or were you, maybe you were benching. Oh yeah, and a guy and, spotted you. Yeah, and just reverse. Moved, yeah, yeah, we moved a little bit too far forward. You know what I mean? 
He's like, come on, come on, come on, come, come on, on. You got it. You got it. You, you got, got it. it. You got, you got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> what? Did you just fucking... Come on, come on. One more. One more. Come on, come on. You got it. You got it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you just farted in my fucking face and I have 185 <laughs> on the bar? <laughs> What is your goddamn problem? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. One more, one come more. Come on, come on, come on. You're like, like, ah, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this motherfucker. <Bro>. <laughs> I just want to see a guy like squat heavy weight, drop down, shit himself. <laughs> just stand up and put the weights back on, turn around and go, Sorry. Sorry. Dude, that would be totally normal at gold. <laughs> yeah. Just just dude racks on 400 to the squat rack. He's bending over his shoulders. He's just one rep maxing out. Goes all the way down. His ass is like two inches from the floor. Just. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> sprays out. <laughs> like a broken spo- sprinkler. Just all over like, the ground. It, Reps it back up, racks it, and just takes an Sorry. Instagram picture. Yeah, <laughs> poses, poses posing next to his shit. <laughs> shit, all down his like yeah. new max. New max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, troll, trolling gym posts. Yo, is, this guy just <laughs> this yo, guy just squatted four fifty. You mind if I get a pic with you too? Yeah, yeah. in front of the shit. That's the this is the this is the gold's pose right here. I actually did this the other day. Okay. Oh. That's that's the gym pose for some reason. Yeah. Every bodybuilder that, oh, that I is see true. taking yeah. pictures yeah. always goes like this. Yeah. And I guess it's to flex their arms or whatever. Probably. But some dude came up to me at Gold's the other day. He's like, Yo, I'm a big fan. Can I get a picture? And I was like, sure. And we asked somebody. And I was like, It just felt right. Yeah. Just felt there's nothing else you can do in the gym. No, it, see yeah, that that feels yeah. that feels lame. Is whack. Yeah, yeah, it's whack. Yeah. <laughs> hey, miss. Hey, man. Can I get a pick with you? Nice squat, by the way. For sure, dog. It smells like shit over here. <laughs> yeah, just shit on the ground. That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do a bodybuilder voice. Every bodybuilder sounds like they've been smoking Cubans for like 20 years. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> it's your boy. Hey, what? <laughs> what's up, plant? What's up, fitness world? <laughs> It's Alex Axiom here, and I'm here to teach you all a little bit more about how to get that better squat form. The <laughs> first thing you're going to want to do is buy my supplements. Go to <laughs> hugeaxis.com and get my protein powder. Promo code SIZE. <laughs> Remember, don't buy my protein powder if you got pussy ass arms. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> all fucking roided out and crazy looking. Just shit all over his leg. <laughs> God damn, it's so funny <laughs> it's to not, think of dudes that just that just <laughs> like max out to the point of like losing bodily function and just unload, losing control. It ain't a real squad if you don't shit all over the god. You better leave your mark on the gym floor. Now here we go. We're going in for six eighty. <laughs> 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 like shitting and crying and vomiting, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> sneezing. <laughs> Doug, that's basically dying. That's defecation. That's dying. <laughs> You're fucking pissing. Uh, 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 <laughs> he's just, like at the, he's just like at the very bottom of the squat. And just, just fluid pouring out of every, just everything. Like pissing <laughs> so hard. It's like a so sprinkler all on his chin. He, he's he's got a fucking boner too. So it's just just <laughs> all over the bottom of his chin. Oh, fuck. Oh god! I can't breathe. Holy shit! Hold, dude! Everyone in the gym, holy fuck, drops the weights. They're just like, like <laughs> cowered in one corner. Like, what the absolute fuck just happened? <laughs> the guy's just covered in vomit and piss. Six eighty. Six eighty. Put it down. <laughs> Cody is just wiping his Holy eyes. Shit. He's I'm straight actually, up crying. I'm fucking weeping. <laughs> He's weeping. He's done. Holy shit. He's comatose right now. 
<laughs> Six thirty. Yo, man, you might get a picture. picture. <laughs> Covered in shit and piss. Yo, dude, sick rep. Mind if I get a pic? God, <laughs> God, you smell like ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh, uh, I'm fucking crying 680 <laughs> new max oh my god yo bodybuilders fucking crack me holy up holy hell bodybuilders are the funniest people on earth I know they're Cause they're fucking huge and they're so insecure. I know. Every snap they take, they just like have to push their traps out. Hey, how you doing? I just want to let you know that I'm uh here at the uh, good old inn. Uh, it's, uh, it's just funny how obsessed they get. Yeah. With with working out, I I, I get it. Like, <laughs> I think I could. I see how you could become so obsessed with working out, but it's oh, yeah. like. It's like every dude that's like that jacked. It's like I'm never letting this go. It's like you got, I worked hard to achieve this, and it's never going away. I almost feel like some of them want to die on steroids. Yeah, than, no, I th- think that people would rather than be old and small. Uh huh. Yeah. That's yeah. They fucking hit, sad. They hit like a critical mass, and they're like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no going back, yeah. dog. Yeah. I mean, look at Arnold, dude. I mean, he's huge. Yeah. But he must look in the mirror. He's still pretty big. But he still like must look in the mirror and think about like, damn, when I was like twenty five, mm-hmm. I was fucking like double this. Yeah, that motherfucker was huge. Yeah, he was big. He was a croissant dog. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what we were fucking watching? I went bowling yesterday. Mm-hmm. By the way, best I bowl my best game I've ever bowled one sixty. <laughs> Come on, that's good, right? No, <laughs> dude, that's an F. What? You can get a 300 in bowling. No, I know that, but that's fucking hard as shit. Most people score around like 100. <clears throat> yeah. 160. I went seven seven frames without without missing a pin. Very I nice. I got a spare strike every single thing for seven straight things. Uh, here's the fucking uh, nerd in me. Uh, <laughs> uh, we should go bowl. I'll show you how to hit a strike every time. Really? Yeah. If you're strong enough... First of all, you, you got that like side shit that they all do. You, you can only do that if the, if the ball is curved, mm. which or is, is weighted, which they aren't. Okay. So the like the <laughs> here we go. Here we go talking about balls. Yeah, here we go again. I love talking about that though. Standard bowling ball mm-hmm. doesn't have hollowed out center. Okay. Or you know, it's just it's just pure weight inside. Okay. So you can just barrel it right between mm. the middle and second mm. arrow, depending on what's strong with you know. And just make sure you follow through. Throw it like a punch. You just throw it right in between those two. You want to knock between pin one and dos. Yeah, I got a, I got a pin you can knock down. <laughs> Bro. I got some balls you can put your fingers in. I just thought of that dude uh, winning. <laughs> that fucker. That clip. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think you are? I am. Fucking hell. That, that clip is so goddamn funny. That is the whitest thing. On What's Earth. that guy's name? I don't know. Gord Weber or some shit. Yeah, who the hell do you think you are? I am. Yeah. Joey Weber. No, what was it? Something. I Just, forget, but it's like this bowling professional. Bowling. <laughs> bowling. Bowling, <laughs> bowling guy. And uh he like wins the like world championships or some shit. He goes ape shit. But he like he like doesn't know what to say. Or he's just like his brain like shorts out. He just like says the first things he goes, he goes, Yeah, who do you think you are? I am. And everyone's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> All ten people in the stands. Yeah, exactly. Congratulations, but ESPN Gordon. four. Yeah, um, you beat the only other nine people competing. Yeah, every year. Yeah, nice, sick, sick. Um, <laughs> and I, uh, the mo- what movie was playing? When we were when we were bowling. Was I don't know something with Sylvester Stallone in it? He's yeah. fight. He's fight. Is it Rocky? Ro- oh shit! You did not just do that. I don't know. I don't. I know no <laughs> classic movies, man. I. I know that was wow. That was like mad. That was millennial dude. as fuck. I know. What is that shit like? The fighting shit and he's like a boxer. Yeah, he's huge in that shit. Though. Yeah, he is huge. Yeah, yeah. huge, huge, huge. Mm-hmm. It's fucking. Yeah, big. I want to suck his dick. Hey, uh, hey. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> I heard you like uh, dudes or whatever. <laughs> you seen the movie Rocky? <laughs> I'm straight in that movie, but on the outside, I'm fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll knock your ass off. 
We got we got to evolve these characters, man. They can't all just be. I know we're just gonna end up just doing this forever. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just this is a podcast. Eventually, it's just just fucking. What was the show in the beginning called? Nabuto. N- Nasubi. Nasubi. We're just just bu- Nasubi reviews in the in the gay straight guy voice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The I'll, eggplant, the eggplant emoji, kind of turns me on. Honestly, I hope I was hoping it would move to the side, but you know, you don't always get that lucky. Uh, but for me, I would think you know, being in the Rocky films, I would get a little more extra. <laughs> That's pretty fucking good. I don't think, I don't think that's how he sounds. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put a 680 down and shit my <laughs> pants. <laughs> we're training for Rocky. <laughs> New Max, baby. <laughs> New Max. Holy shit. What are you doing uh, this week? <clears throat> uh, I'm think I'm going to try to drop two videos. Though. Yeah? So by today, I'm hoping I will have two videos up. <clears throat> Do a little, you know, a little sit down, a little sit down. What do you got chat. planned? Do you want to talk about it or no? Um, well, if it's posted, it'll be because I get nonstop DMs about either what race are you, or I have it figured out, and they're f- some of them are fucking funny. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna just like roast them, okay, a little bit, and some funny shit that people have done. I don't want to spoil it, but um, and it's funny because I wanted to post this last week, but waiting the seven days. I got way funnier DMs and tweets and shit in the last seven days no than, way. I've, than I've ever gotten. Really? Yeah. You mean like screenshotting? <clears throat> yeah, like okay. crazy. That's, That's all dope. my screenshots That's are. That's dope. So then, then, you know. What um, the fuck am I going to do? I I want to, I mean, I got like a three hour drive today. I want to like, I want to maybe do like a ca- video in the car. I just don't know what the <laughs> dude, fuck it's going to be. Dude, I was joking that I wanted to get a Tesla and yeah. do a reaction video in a car. But not tell people it's a Tesla. <laughs> so it's, it's driving. <laughs> yeah. Not... What's up? Um, I'm <coughs> I'm gonna be reacting today to um, you know, this video, and uh, so here we go. And then like you just see like I'm in a car and people like on are the like, highway. Like what the fuck <laughs> are you <laughs> doing? And I'm like, oh wow, this is crazy. And it's just like a video of a guy at, like a water park or something. Or you're like reacting to like Russian dash cams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> videos of people crashing i have to do that yeah. i have to do that i'm doing that this week that's so fucking funny yeah, that would be really funny i'm just gonna rent a tesla on toro or something can you do that you fuck yeah, yeah i guess you can yeah yeah <clears throat> elon musk <coughs> yo here's one instead of herbalife i thought it, this is so whack mm-hmm. herbal wife okay you uh try to recruit 10 redditors who will let you fuck their girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I'm huge, and I can pleasure your wife. You, so it only takes three thousand dollars to get me on board, and then from there you can sell my dick to other future. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's kind of like a sex cult a little bit. That's kind yeah. of what that would end up being like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it all just kind of isn't it all the same? Yeah. It's all just kind of the same. Mm-hmm. Everyone's selling a, a certain bullshit. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yo, what if? <laughs> We were like a bee. You know what I mean? Yo, bees are crazy. <laughs> Yo, bees are nuts. They have no. They don't have. They have an ass lance. Mm-hmm. They That's don't have true. nuts, but That's they have true. an ass lance. Mm-hmm. Dog, imagine you got a fucking weapon. You don't <clears throat> even have an ass on your ass. Yeah, yeah. You just just imagine if we were like bees, just standing outside of a club. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like five bees, and it's like because you know not everyone's gonna have the same size yeah, ass yeah, lance. Yeah, oh, it's true. Yeah. So then that's like the alpha. Mm-hmm. You got five dudes with like Excaliburs hanging off mm-hmm. their ass cheeks. Mm-hmm. You're like, fuck. You got your little your little pea shooter on the mm-hmm. back of you. They're like, hey, buddy. <laughs> What's up with your girl over there? <laughs> you don't want to fight, do you? Like, um. <laughs> One of them runs over and just sticks his ass lance <laughs> through your fucking chest. Ow! <laughs> <sighs> yeah, dude. Being a bee would be crazy. Being a bee would be fucking nuts, dude. Just absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah, how did you uh <laughs> did you like that did you like the new Tinder pick I gave you? Uh with your fucking eyes. Oh dude, up in so the fucking funny. <laughs> By the way, the brochler shit turned out really, really funny. Thanks, dude. That was really, really good. You fucked with it? Yeah. Okay. It was hilarious. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Please, will you will you will you take this jewel? Will you accept will, my jewel? Yeah, will you accept <laughs> my jewel? Yes. I will hate honestly, dude, I've been fiending for some nicotine. So <laughs> did you, did you, I will hit your jewel. Did you wait for the bloopers? <laughs> Oh, I didn't think I watched the movie. No, they're just at the end. Fucking Spock. It's so funny. Oh, I did see them actually, but I was driving. So I. <laughs> he was like, he's like, 
to be honest, bro, I'd like I'd be really fucking honored. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just typical bro shit. Like, oh, dude, this. Sorry, go. No, 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 no. I got none. This what fucking uh, Sri Lanka's got talent. Oh, 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 oh. my god, let's, dude. Let's, let's jack this in. Okay. Let's fucking let's be fuck this thing. Okay. Thing. Hell yeah! And in typical Tiny Meat Gang fashion, it can't go perfect. It can't go perfect. We went to plug in the aux cord, and it fucking. <laughs> Did something like shorted out, it literally or just shit. shorted out the fucking audio interface. That was crazy. Yeah, we're yeah. we're good now though, right? Yeah, yeah. Here, let's Wait, watch this shit. Sorry, y'all. Let me get a clap in here. <laughs> I don't All know right. how loud this is gonna be though. Wait, so let's let's explain this real quick. Yeah. All right, and I'll test we're it. We're gonna out do with like something. a busted ass reaction video right now. Yeah. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably exactly when the Patreon logo is <laughs> faded over, which is hilarious. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. By the way, we do that so that yeah, so you um, you know, support and help us keep going. Yeah. Sorry, I just oh. had to test it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So, I saw this tweeted. It was about uh, Sri Lankan America's Got Talent, and it's goddamn hilarious. It is <laughs> fucking <laughs> so funny. <laughs> play, play this. Okay. Play this. This okay. is so good. I have so many things to say about this. Do you want me to record my screen, actually? Yeah, fuck it. Oh, this is just the... Wow, tech, technology. Te te technology technology is, is, is like... It's quite interesting how like they can do, do things with, you know... Oh, it's frozen. All right, uns unscreen record. God damn it. <clears throat> also... I know you don't watch boxing, but I watched Anthony Joshua fight uh, this dude, something Parker. And holy shit, boxing is boring. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that fight. Oh, oh, fucking hell, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, 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 can I say one thing? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I know our bo like boxing fans who listen to this are going to be like, all right, mate. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah boxing yeah. is a chess match. Okay. It's not. It's not like MMA where you run out and fucking. I, this happened yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah my buddy. Yeah. Yeah. My buddy told me some about it. I didn't watch it, but he was like, "Yo, you guys watching the fight right now?" And I was like, "No." I don't yeah. Know what Listen, I appreciate boxing. It. It is. Here's the <clears> thing <throat> that makes boxing boring to watch, especially at that level. These dudes are so high level. They're standing literally like maybe a, like a couple feet apart from each other and just bat miss. And they're both like fainting and tr they're just trying to chip away at each other. Mm -hmm. And they're doing this for 12 fucking rounds. Yeah. But the, th the highlight of it was the ref. The moment the action got crazy, the ref jumps in. He's like, I, you got, you got, and the, the fucking announcers are like, uh, I don't think the referee's name was on the fucking title of the fight. Maybe he needs to get the fuck out of there. Like uh, he ruined the fight for sure. Really? Yeah. Everyone is pissed. I, I was fucking pissed. I'm like, dude. What, happen what happens after that? You, he gets fired, do you think? No, boxing is so fucking. It's it's way more corrupt. Hmm. Did you so, buy the fight? Ten bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was on Showtime. Hmm. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Anyway, all right, all right. Ready? Sri, Sri Lankan America's Got Talent. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Can you turn it sideways or no? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Wait, wait, yeah. First of all, like what? Why? Like why is he doing the splits? <laughs> why? He's about to get some shit rocked over his arm right here. <laughs> but, like, it has nothing to do with the fact that he's in the splits. Let it go. Oh, fuck. Look at her fucking face, <laughs> She's dude. just like, oh, <laughs> my God. Okay, if you're just listening to this, so the guy, the, he's, he's basically like, it's like a dude dressed in like a, what is it, like a karate? Yeah, he's, yeah, whatever. The, it's like a gi or like whatever the fuck yeah, this is. Yeah, whatever that's called. He's wearing a black belt and he's so clearly not a black belt. <laughs> and he's like doing the splits on like this like <laughs> elevated thing and these dudes are breaking bricks over his arms. Over his fucking arms, dude. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at a fucking call. <laughs> oh, and this stopped the screen recording. Great. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All the judges are like, "What? Oh, this is the best what is part." Happening. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he just knocks himself out. He just knocked himself out. <laughs> How is this even a talent, bro? Oh my god! 
my god. This is shit that that Americans were doing in the nineties, dog. Yeah. Like they get some guy on fucking ABC, like, well, we're here with Michael Karate guy, and he's like, Hey, how you doing? I love Jackie Chan. Uh. And then he's like, <laughs> they're like, he's gonna cut through nineteen planks of brick. Forty That's stacks so true. of them. That was a big thing. Yeah, on like the news in the yeah, morning, and yeah. then you know, be like some fucking just overweight white dude is like a teacher of style where I can you can kill someone with just five fingers. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you how to do that on bricks. Mm-hmm. And, I'm just, and I think this dude is just using real bricks. <clears throat> like he saw what Americans did. He's like, "Fuck yeah, I'm a train for this." Yeah. He's like, "No, bro, that was fake. <laughs> that was all fake." He fucking knocked himself out. <laughs> he <laughs> just takes is- this big thing of bricks and hits his head. And and knocks himself out, and so he falls off this shit onto the back, and the judge is like, "Oh, what the fuck!" And then he's like, he like his like employees or whatever, like his assistants, like pick, him, pick up. him up, and he's like, he's like coming back to life, system reset. And he stumbles to the fucking front of the stage, and he just fucking poses there, and the dude's like, "Stop, stop, enough!" No, and he enough. tries to he tries to break another one, oh, yeah, it just doesn't right. even get yeah. close to getting through it. He like punches one of them and it, and the guy's like just fucking stop yeah, stop please, stop please, please no just stop more. as he's half fucking conscious like <laughs> there's another one that similar to that that I think was in India and it was like it was like 30 guys yeah doing way more painful shit and the whole audience is screaming and like covering their <laughs> eyes the judges are like no no and they don't give a fuck they're like nah this is the show oh, homie no way <laughs> yeah. fuck i want to see that shit i had to just make sure we're gucci yeah that's F- funny. Dude, I'm going I'm to try to look it up right now. Fuck it. Yeah? Yeah. Do it. Yeah, so. <clears throat> oh, bruv. You like boxing? Yeah. You do little little boxing. Um, hullabaloo. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did Steve want me about? S- Please tell me you've seen my keys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. In the middle of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, thanks, bro. He's also He also has pink eye now. <laughs> oh, dope. <laughs> he fucking woke up with pink eye. He's like, you told me Noel had pink eye, and now I have it. I'm like, Dick, you weren't even around Noel. <laughs> Was he? Did you did you see him? Steve? Yeah. So, oh, Sam, sorry. Sam, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I mean. We call him Steve. It's a weird thing. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's His name is Steve Newport in my phone. It's like an alias. That's the wackest alias. I. It's, what do you mean, Steve Newport? That's a great name. That's a that's a name. No, no, I'm saying if your name is Sam, you switch to Steve. And alias is usually like something tough, like, yo, what up? My government is this, but the boys call me. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Like, like cut or, or yeah, like yeah. some, some tough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, my government is Sam, but my boys call me Steve. Yeah, yeah. All right, but Sam. My boys, <laughs> my boys call me Gay, Gay, Gay James. <laughs> you know, you know. I was talking about uh, at Spock show with like some of his friends. We were talking about like the differences in like, like uh, the security checkpoints at different airports okay like i was talking about how in barcelona they don't give a fuck <laughs> okay they put like two people working yeah when we were there there was a two-hour wait and the dude would like he would like look at who was next in line and if they had like that <clears throat> hello yeah like the, uh, like the yeah. angry mom yeah, yeah, face yeah, yeah. like he was there more people working here <laughs> yeah he would like move slower oh jesus like he would fuck. just like do you want to get into the country <laughs> Fix your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was laughing at was in England, every time we've gone through there at Heathrow. They give a fuck, though. They they give a fuck. Yeah. And they also have, like, some shitty British comment when you enter. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember Alina and I kept Chippy going. Out. Yeah, Alina and I kept going in and out of London, like, on our first trip there. <clears throat> and one time we go through, lady's like, we're going there for, for one night before we flew out. And she's like, what are you here for? Or like a vacation. She goes, holiday? One night? It's not much of a holiday. Go on. Like she signed the thing. Like she just makes that comment and then waves us off. So British. So British. So fucking British. Just a cheeky, like, yeah. just like a low-key diss yeah. as you get into the country. And I see, and that's a time where I wish I knew not that. much of a holiday, is it? Yeah. That's a time I wish I knew Anthony Joshua's phrase. So I could have been like, oh, <laughs> bro, chat shit get bang, man. <laughs> chat shit get bang. What's your little tummy taco right there? Your mouth going up. What's your little fire hydrant on your face there? I don't know. Like you're under arrest. (laughs) You can't talk shit to a customs agent. Sorry. Just snap. Chat shit get banged. Chat shit get banged. banged. Oi. Board of uh, 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 authorities. 
we got Mr. Chat shit get bang over here. Oh, no, no, I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. Oh, and he's American. Oh, oh. <laughs> jokes. Oh, that's me, comedian. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I am actually. Oh, funny oh. man. Let's see how you charm your way out of this one, Mr. Chat shit get bang <laughs> comedian. <laughs> Dude, I hate RTSA. I don't, I hate how when there's little people, like few people, they're like, oh, n- no shoes off. Put everything in the bin. Just walk through. Then why do we do it when there's a lot of people? I know. It makes no fucking sense. I know, sense. I know, I know. It makes no fucking I know. sense. Security in me just like, that ah, just makes no sense. No. Yeah, I mean, and, and now I think it's all just a big scam so that they, that app clear yeah. can get you to pay yeah. for yeah. the fucking, that's got to be it, dude. All right, we're going we're gonna to create false demand. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going we're gonna to piss everyone off for 10 years straight. Then we're going to make an app. We can pe- we can pay some ridiculous amount of money yeah, to, to get through at only certain airports. Yeah, I know, I know. <clears throat> and then the, it's like you still have to go through security. You just don't have to take off your shoes. That's yeah. like it. <laughs> Paying fifty bucks a month so you don't have to take off your yeah, shoes. Yeah, <laughs> that's how shitty it is. Demeaning. That you're, that's true. That you're willing to pay it. I know. You're like, I don't have to. How much? But I get to keep my shoes on. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Dude, I was watching fucking. I was watching um, Dead Mouse on the H3 podcast. I wasn't. I wasn't watching the actual episode. It was one of the highlight clips. Yeah. And um, he said that they were like, they were like, do you have any ghost stories or something? I guess that's like a question that they ask everyone. And he was like, no, but I have a really creepy story. Um, back in like 2008 or something like that, I did a show in Ibiza. And I was flying out of Ibiza. And the flight, my connecting flight was out of Madrid back to the States or whatever. And I, we like the, the flight taking off on Ibiza was super late. Yeah. And, and so they landed and they, they, they were like about to miss their connection. So they booked it down to the gate. Yeah. And they got there just as they were closing the gate and they were like, I'm sorry, we just pulled the jet bridge away from the plane. And like, if you had been here like a minute earlier, we could have got you on. And they're like, fuck. They were sitting in the airport. That flight took off and crashed and everyone died. Yeah, and it's like on Wikipedia and shit. What? Yeah, it's like 150 people <coughs> on that flight or some shit. Whoa. Yeah. Spain Air or something. Something like Whoa. that. Spanish Air. Yeah. Whoa. How crazy is that shit? Um, I mean, like, obviously there's people that miss every flight that mm-hmm. crashes, but mm-hmm. it's like, for it to be him, Yeah. like, I don't know, for him to, like, have such a big, like, audience, yeah. I, I don't know, it's just crazy, it's pretty man. pretty fucking wild. That would fuck me up. I would, n- I would not. I'm like, I just live here now. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Yep. See ya. Yep. And they said they, like, on the next flight back, they got on the next flight, like, oh, whatever. No, to they the, yeah, and they're just like, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> just on crazy, that next man. flight. Yo, a bunch of people died. You heard about that? <laughs> yeah. Mm, crazy. Let's hope this one doesn't go down. You know? <laughs> 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 not turbulence. <terminal>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that lady next to me. Yeah. Yeah. We're landing in Sandy. Oh my God, that woman was fucking. She, she was pissing me off, dude. Like her legs were all the way out, gripping the sides of the chair. She'd be like, <laughs> she'd make all these noises on every single piece of turbulence. She just starts dude. pissing and shitting herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she she starts like <laughs> cracking open bottles of Jameson. She had like a mini bottle of Jameson yeah. next to me. And she keeps like, she's like trying to watch some shitty TV show on her iPad. No, it wasn't even that. It was like a bootleg, like Asus thing with a Windows OS. It was fucking, clearly her, her son was like, all right, mom. Uh, I know you hate airplanes. I'm going to put like 25 hours of fucking... <laughs> Uh, I don't know, days of our lives on here yeah. and just w- watch this and shut the fuck up when you're on the plane. Dude, when she would like get her hands off of the armrest to like take a sip, that was like jumping across a bridge for her. Really? She'd be like, <laughs> oh God, oh, fuck, 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 shit, fuck. Struggling to drink her Jameson? Yeah, her arm and her leg are just rubbing all over me and I'm like, I'm not, come on, man. <laughs> it's like, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, it's, it's it's just we're we're locked in. <laughs> if it's gonna happen, like we're gonna fucking die. <laughs> That's the future. Okay, there's literally nothing you can do. 
And uh, dude, I love how like when the turbulence was the fucking worst, we're just like, Vroom. the guy next to you, she turns to him. She's like, do you fly a lot? He's like, what? Yeah. yeah <laughs> the plane yeah, is yeah. shaking. He's reading a magazine. <laughs> That's how old he is. No one reads a magazine on the airplane. This guy's reading about like bass fishing. And she's like, is this normal? He's like, yes, very normal. Just looks back Shut down. the fuck up. Yeah, shut the okay. fuck up. Okay. I'm trying to finish this article. He's in like the back section <laughs> yeah, yeah. where the articles all finish, you know? <laughs> you know, like in magazines, like you'll read the first two pages and it's like, continue on page 68. Like, <laughs> he's like, what the fuck is yeah, this? No, he's like, I'm, I'm not he's, doing that. No, he's like all the way back there <laughs> finishing the articles. No one ever finishes an article in a magazine. <laughs> he's just like, no, if you wouldn't mind, this is a great catch. Yeah. And you're kind of ruining it for me. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. I'm reading about rods. <laughs> reading about I'm reading rods. about hot rods. <laughs> Big poles. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I like your pole. Uh, why do people on airplanes talk across you? It's the rudest shit. Yeah, the rudest shit. Yeah, that that late that woman starts talking to the girl next to me, and she's like, "Do you fly a lot?" I'm like, "You did not just skip over me." Yeah, you fucking bitch. Yeah, you. Like, you should have just like put up your hand. Yeah, <laughs> block the. No more. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did. I did. Yes, I do fly a lot. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I did the most passive aggressive shit. I had my headphones like hanging off my ear. I pushed them in and put my sunglasses on yeah. and closed my eyes. I'm like, you fucking just. Anyway. Oh, shit. Hate, I fucking hate flying while well, I'm. Oh, you crashed? I'm struggling. Yeah. You had a good laugh out of that shit piss squat. That, that took exhausted it out of you. me. It took that it exa- out of you. I don't think I've ever laughed that hard. <laughs> that was yeah, so yeah, fucking yeah, funny. You were crying. Holy sh. God damn. They <laughs> got the hiccups. Yeah, I'm done, man. That That <laughs> killed me. I had something else I wanted to fucking chat shit, get bang, my Chat shit, ba- get bang, oh, mate. All right, mate. Oh, I, I wanted to. <laughs> Keep talking. I got to, like, just look up shit for my trip right now. <laughs> I wanted to tweet because it's April Fool's. I wanted to be like. I'm... I forgot it was April Fool's. I wanted to be like, I'm gay, April Fool's. Wait, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. I wanted to invert it. April Fool's, I'm gay. Wait, fuck. <laughs> You should definitely do that, bro. I think you got the you got the order wrong. One hour, forty four minutes. That's not too bad to drive. Yeah, yeah, that ain't bad at all. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, I had something I wanted to fucking say. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It is Mark Weens here, eating, having some delicious b- butthole for dinner. Eat out some. I'm about to toss a nice salad here. <laughs> mm. It's going to be horrible mm. when we have to meet this guy in person and he's like, I see all the jokes you make about me. Yeah. I really. Oh, you're the guys, you are the guys that <laughs> said I was eating out boy pussy? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was me. I'm the one eating out the boy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Mark oh, Weens, Mark great Weans. name. Love that. Love the last part in your name there. <laughs> Weens. Weens, because I'm gay. I'm and into I'm, the Weeners. Yeah, hot dogs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hot dogs. <laughs> That's going to be our merch. Yeah, hot dogs. <laughs> Yo, by the way, I had a great meeting with uh, merch people. Oh, yeah? Yeah, about TMG merch. Oh, what'd they say? Uh, I, was just, <clears throat> I was just meeting with the creative director about like what my next line of merch. Actually, yeah, here. Um. Might, might as well plug this. My merch is going away on Represent. So if you want anything of my shirts, like the Influence one or like the one that says Cody Cohen or whatever, that won't be available come two weeks from now. So Rip. Uh, hop on that shit if you want. Rip. If you want to buy one of those. But I was talking to, so I was talking to the creative director at the new place, and he yeah. was like, "Dude, he's like, we can do hoodies with like little T bones on them. Oh, or, like hats with little T bones and shit okay. like that." And I'm like, "That's a great like little logo." Okay. And then and then like more shit down the line that we yeah. talked about. I don't want to like spoil it yet, but like funny shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it'll be good just For to sure. have some shit up there. For sure. That the people can, people, people can grab. And we're going to have like special discount codes and shit for the Patreon people. We talked about that too. Dope. Um, yeah. To our top Patreoners, I know we've been DMing you. <clears throat> uh, we're working on getting you the shirts to our uh, mad $50 tier. This is like five or six of you. Yeah. You guys are fucking insane. And we love you. What are you, you. thinking? We love you though, idiots. We're gonna get you that merch. Yeah, we will. Um, <clears throat> oh, here's a dumb. <laughs> oh, is this? Is this? Why the fuck do people keep calling me? <laughs> they know you're doing a podcast. Hey, what's up? What are you doing, Doc? I'm on a podcast right now. You're being recorded. Who is this? 
I'm being recorded. Yeah. yeah come to skate park. Skate park? <laughs> Why are you going to the skate park? <laughs> Colby, you're a grown ass, ass man. First. This crazy competition. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, there's like a 20k purse with all these professionals just like doing absurd shit. Colby, you're not gonna win though. Yeah, are you competing? Are you competing? Yeah, I'm competing. Oh, nice, I'm, dude. I'm second. You're second place right now? Are you skateboarding right now yeah, as, second, as we're speaking? Second in all of Venice. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, dude. I can't. I got, I'm, I'm going to Palm Springs. Out and supporting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no problem. My friend's just being here. I'm there in spirit. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right, dude. I got I, I to gotta go to Palm Springs after this. So. All right. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, too. Oh shit! My voice cracked hell hard on that one. <laughs> Twenty seven hundred patrons. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Appreciate all of you. Well, uh, shout out to the broski. <clears throat> Miles, go. Oh, here, here's a. Where, where are we at? We got time? Yeah, we're at one ten. Damn. We're at one ten. I gotta go in like five minutes. That's fine. Um, here's like a <laughs> shit, <laughs> stupid ass character we can end it on. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about a poker player. Mm-hmm. Uh, trying to check questions. Or like, <laughs> like when a girl's like, so what are we? This is totally some Instagram comedy shit. Like, <laughs> okay. So what are we? So, you know, what are we? And he just like puts on his glasses. <laughs> he just like pulls out like a stack of chips. He's like, 500. <laughs> She's like, what? Like, it's my bet. 500. <laughs> Call or fold. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going to pay 500 for the answer. And he's just sitting there, not moving. Just, yeah. So who were you hanging out with last night? Were there, were there girls there? Check. No. Puts on the sunglasses. <laughs> the, the fucking holograph ones <laughs> yeah, with the stupid yeah. fucking skulls on them. <laughs> no, he doesn't even answer. So were there girls there last night? <clears throat> <laughs> time. <laughs> what? What do you mean time? I said time. <laughs> 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 just pulls out a random chips chip stack he's shuffling <laughs> she's like what is what are you doing what's wrong with you 2000 <laughs> that's good man I think you got something there <laughs> yeah yeah. I think that's a really solid character yeah. let me see what I got in my notes <laughs> I also wrote in my fucking notes um, bodybuilder real estate agent Instagrams <laughs> Wait, say it again. Bodybuilder, real estate agent, Instagrams. <laughs> they're the funniest Instagrams. One picture, they're like just fucking in the gym, huge. Got a great workout in. Da 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 da. Next post. I'm up here in the Hollywood Hills with a beautiful property. <laughs> they have like 200 followers. Eight thousand hashtags per post. Yeah, it's so true. They're just real estate life. <laughs> yeah. Agent life. Closing. <laughs> Closing. ABC. ABC bitch. Deals. Guys who say ABC and mean it. Oh yeah. Have never closed anything. Yeah, they just suck ass. Yeah. Hundred percent. Fucking I hate guys that fucking always ask you if you've seen like the only two sales movies that they ever talk about. Yeah. You know it's a great movie, man. Yeah. Boiler Room. Have you seen Boiler Room? <laughs> That'll teach you a thing or two about selling. <laughs> no, no, I think selling the product will teach me a thing or two about selling, yeah. you fucking dumbass. Not Vin Diesel in a suit. <laughs> we have to get out of here. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God, I'm dying. All right, we have to end this one. Yeah? Well, yeah. Let's end it on a good one. Um, mm. I got... I got nothing on my notes. It's just bad song lyrics, honestly. <laughs> let's, let's hear some. What? Let's hear one. No, it's just the shit for the workout song. Oh, okay. Yeah, the gym song, and there's okay. just, I don't know. I got to write more lyrics. <laughs> we actually wrote a little uh, a little um, yeah. tune yesterday, actually. You did? I mean, like, we were, like, fucking around. My friends were in the studio. The, in my studio. Oh, your studio. Yeah, and uh, we, we sung some shit. And had it auto-tuned. Another one? What? You made another one. I mean, yeah, I just had this loop. This nice little, like, melody loop. For sure. And so we recorded over it. I'd show you. I'd show you. We are at the point now where people are like, huh. I f- dude. Who even is listening anymore? You know what I'm saying? We can do anything. <laughs> I feel like for the last 10 minutes, we've been a little, um. That thing, like, turning off fucked me up. Which? The the, the gear. I know, right? Like, took me out of it. I know. Sorry, guys. Yeah, We're, sorry. For, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some gaff tape. I'm going to make sure the power just stays consistent. Um, 
It's really frustrating when that. Oh, you know what? The auto tune's gonna fuck up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's but fine. here's the loop, though. Dude, you should just aux in. Let's aux in on that. And just fuck it all up again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Peep. Oh, it's about to be loud. Uh, no, I can cut that out. Play. Wow, that's really fucking loud. I could, I could like... Oh, it's like some Chris Brown shit. Let that go. Let the drums come in. One second. Bring all that in. Whoa, whoa! Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I just wanna <laughs> suck on your toes, bitch. Uh, I just wanna suck on your toes. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck on your toes. <laughs> wanna suck on your toes, yeah. <laughs> suck on your toes. We actually had a pretty good hook to this. Nice. But the auto tune's gonna fuck up. Wait, let's see if I can actually get it. Very nice. This is what we do. We just sit down and record fucking stupid ass. Nice, bro. Uh. Young boy, young boy. <laughs> That's me auto tuned as fuck. Only fucking with them cans. <laughs> Turn about a shout out. And a whipping in the band. Hey, man. Hey, man. Young boy in the penthouse. Yeah. Nah, no, that ain't bad. No, it's cringe as fuck. No, I mean, you But can't. this is what's fun. You just record shit, put auto tune on it, and you can make like a r oh, sort yeah. of catchy hook. Yeah, I mean, like, the writing's good, just you should let someone else sing that. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> the writing works. Or should we I'm going to figure out a way to make my voice good. Yeah? Mark my fucking words. I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. I'm going to figure that shit out. I was going to say we could end it on freestyle, but. <clears throat> yeah, you want to do that? Here, I'll play that beat I made before. Yeah, some little, some little sum. Now, now it's experimental. This part of the podcast is super experimental. Yeah, this is the ver this is kind of like we're just we're fucking around at this point. Yeah, just throwing oh shit my at goodness. the wall. Speaking of shit, yeah, you good? Are you gonna just play some? You gonna we'll max out some this. squats? Yeah, I don't know if the eight hundred eight is in tune. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Young boy got a doodle. -doo. Young boy got a doodle. -doo. I got the shit in my pants. I ain't got no money. I ain't got. It. I got. I can't rap. I gotta shit. I literally have to shit myself. I literally have to shit myself. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast, everybody. Thank you guys. I'm gonna go unload my bowels. We appreciate you. And, Unloading um, my bowels. Yeah, all the best. I like rapping with a bunch of vowels. Hey, yeah. Hey, uh. Bowels on empty. You got a little stomach. That shit I envy. <laughs> Speaking of the shit, I got a ton of them, bitch. I'm about to book book in the toilet. Don't boil it. Oh, yeah, I got none. All right, I got to poop. <laughs> that was great. Later. Thanks, guys. Bye. Peace.